Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I am going to be showcasing to you Android Lollipop on the Galaxy S3. So, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. As we start off with the lock screen right here, you can swipe up just like on any other Android version to get to your home menu. You can customize your home menu by dragging and dropping icons just like any other menu. Holding down will reveal to you a widgets panel which is right over here. You can hold on any widget you like and drag on create and there is your widget on the go. Opening up the menu or the apps drawer reveals another icon and this is tying in with the whole sense of fluidity that you get with Android L. So for example, opening up gives you a smooth little animation right there. And you can swipe trace just like on the Nexus 5 and the Nexus 6. It's also got stock apps built in such as Gmail, Calculator, all Google services, Google Maps, Google Play, Games, Play Store, everything is there for you. Now, to confirm that this is indeed a genuine Android L copy, we are going to go into About Phone and show you that it is indeed Android 5.0. Lollipop. So take a quick look at that and it's even got the Easter egg but I don't know if it's going to work because sometimes it may get buggy so bear with me there we go and there is the flappy droid Easter egg which annoyingly is very very hard indeed. So how does the ROM perform if that's the question you asking? Well the ROM is pretty amazing to say the least. The people over at Nameless right here have done a great job in making and building this ROM. Wi-Fi is working absolutely fine as I'll show you right here. Connect to the Wi-Fi quickly. Uh, there, come on, come on. And the camera is working as well. So going into the camera also shows that it is working. The one downside I did find is the fact that the Galaxy S3 has an AMOLED display and this white background may drain battery. However, with the new Lollipop update and interface, you now get native battery saving access. So when you go into your battery, and you can search for power saver mode right here, battery saver, and then swipe to turn it on. It'll show you a red notification bar to remind you that your battery is now low. However, since I've used it for quite a while, I can judge the battery, and the battery has risen from what it was when I was running CyanogenMod, and no, this isn't Cyanogen Mod 12 for any of you guys wondering. But the battery has become very, very, very decent in the last few days. So that's been it. A quick overview of Android 5.0 on the Galaxy S3. For any of you guys who want to download this uh, video tutorial will go up on my channel very soon. But if you're eager to download it anyway, you can hit the link in the description down below. Follow the instructions and download it for yourself. And leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. But as always guys, be sure to leave this video a like rating and comment on it. Giving your opinion on what you feel Android L lacks, Android L has, and what it should implement to make it even better. And do you think Samsung will officially support the Galaxy S3? as Android L is looming for every other device? Let me know in the comments down below. But till then, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.